What's up? All right, so here we have an older model CRV. Uh, it's not a very big window, but it has an abrupt curve at the bottom. So when you split this 50-50, it bunches a ton of film at the bottom. So you can make this a little bit easier on yourself by just shifting down a little bit farther. So now you have less film that you have to shrink out the bottom and because the top is flatter, then it's easier to just handle the top. So I've got uh, my heat gun pointed at a, like a 45 degree angle. It's about six inches away or so, um, but I'm always adjusting my heat a little closer, a little farther based on what the film is doing. And you'll notice at the bottom, um, I'm kind of tugging on the film. I'm not pulling very hard, but just lifting it off the glass and putting a little heat wherever I'm kind of tugging the film at. So this will allow the film to kind of just pull flat and then I'm evenly distributing the heat and I haven't even had to use the felt card yet. Everything is just, when you hit the film just right with that heat, it just lays down perfectly. So you're not seeing hardly any tension lines and we're just working our way back and forth. Um, if I held the heat gun too much in one spot, I'm going to burn the film very, very quickly. So it's all just a matter of finding that sweet spot and just working the heat back and forth along with lightly pulling on the film. Almost like stretching it in a way, but you're just pulling it and then shrinking it flat. So right at the bottom, you can get the heat gun much closer because there's so much more film that needs to be pushed together. And right when you get past the glass side line, you're home free. So with the top, look, it just it moves a hell of a lot faster. So with that extra film that we had bunched up there, it really doesn't equal the same amount of film as the bottom because it was so much flatter up, up at the top and everything just shrinks much, much quicker. So same thing over on the other side, make that 50-50 line just a little bit lower there so you just have less bunched up film at the bottom. We're going to be doing the exact same thing. So with a window like this, um, I'm making these little circle motions with the heat gun. It just helps to keep the heat moving evenly. The Wagner heat guns focus a lot of heat in one spot. So they get nice and hot. They're nice little heat guns, um, but you don't want to focus any too you don't want to focus too much heat in any one particular spot. You're going to just work your way back and forth. And just try and read the film. The softer it looks on the glass, like those, all those little tension lines, um, little air pockets, like they're nice and floaty on the glass, so they'll all push down pretty easily. You'll see here on this lower left-hand corner, I don't quite shrink it enough the first time I go to press it down. So it's all nice and... Uh, I'm pretty flattened out here. You can even like overheat the bottom and get that curve. So we're going to organize it with a felt card. Push all that air out and see how the film wants to lay down. See that lower left hand corner? How it's, uh, there's still like a decent air pocket there. There's also a little bit of dirt left over from the wiper blade in that spot too. So it looks a little messy. Put a little bit more heat there and boom, lays right down. It's also not unusual to have like some slight air pockets from the glass aid too, so don't be alarmed by that at all. And again, get real close to that bottom edge, finish it up. Moving back to the top, it'll just go much faster because of how light that top is in comparison to the bottom edge. It's just not near as curved, so it'll all move pretty quick, waiting for our film to go sideways, press it down with the felt card. Then get a little closer with a heat gun as you get closer to the top, just because you got more material to shrink together, and boom, you're all set. Oh, except this lower center corner here. Gotta, gotta get that. There we go, boom, 